Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. Today I am super excited to be able to sit down and just do my makeup using the What's Up Beauty Desert Monsoon Palette as well as the brushes they sent. This is a brand new brand to the market and they sent me their initial launch and I'm literally probably the last person to share this with you guys. But here we are, we're gonna play with this today and I'm excited to dive into it. This is the first time I'll be trying it. I have used the brushes a couple times though so I can give you a bit of an opinion on them and my thoughts on them. But yeah, I just wanna do my makeup today, keep it really chill and per usual just chit chat with you guys about some stuff that is on my mind. So let me prime my eyes and then we can jump right into it. Okay, I'm using the Ofra eyeshadow primer and it's, it has like a clear base. I just want to give it a try and see how it is on its own. But let's go ahead and jump into this. It's a really pretty palette. The shimmers definitely seem to be where this shines for me at least when I look at this palette because the mattes are pretty neutral. This is really the only exciting for me color that I see. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to keep it, should I keep a cool tone? I feel like I really do a cool tone look. I could stick to this side of things and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll see what happens. I might pull in a a little bit of that pink because it is a cool tone pink so let me go ahead and just grab a blending brush a small ish blending brush this is the r102 brush i meant to look at the prices for these brushes because i really do like them it reminds me of refer brushes the quality they just it's very reminiscent of the refer brush that i have i think i have just two brushes for them anyway that's what it reminds me of so it kind of depending on the price like i said i forgot to check the prices but i am liking the quality of them so i'm just going to go in first with a joshua tree right here this cool tone brown taupe color and I'm going to blend that in and yeah I don't even know oh this is a lot more pigmented and honestly a different color than I feel like it looks like in the pan I don't know it just feels like very cool tone but when I actually use it these are clean brushes too they're a little stained but they are clean but when I actually use it it's got a lot more it's still kind of cool tone but a lot more depth and warmth to it like I was expecting a much cooler toned more gray honestly but it has a richness to it. There isn't really a gray tone to it. I was not expecting that. So I'm just gonna take this and blend it out. I'm not saying that is a bad thing, but just, it was unexpected the color that I got, but I like the intensity of the color. I always like shadows to be pigmented and not too sheer. It just makes it a lot easier to get a look because boom, that is done. I feel like I'm a little bright today. I don't know, let me tone it down a touch real quick. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Um, as I blend out this side, Today I kind of want to, I kind of want to talk about, I don't know, part of me doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm ready to talk about it, but I feel like I need to, to mention it and just kind of get the thought out there. So let me preface all of this before I forget by saying that this is not like a concrete opinion, a concrete thought of mine. It's mostly this video is going to be me talking out loud and, you know, sharing my thoughts out loud to kind of help me process it as well. But I feel like lately I've been having a really hard time with beauty YouTube. And that's to say like, you know, with especially taking my break from YouTube, you know, for two weeks and whatnot, I noticed during that time, like, I don't think I watched I probably watched a couple beauty YouTube uh, videos, but I rarely clicked on any. And even leading up to that break, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I don't know if it's just a rut that I've been in, but I've been very uninspired or unenthused with beauty content lately. And maybe it's just because with starting a garden, getting into yeah, a sourdough and stuff, I've been finding a lot of that type of content to watch and I've really been enjoying it. And I've just been exploring other other areas of YouTube so that when I go to my subscription feed and they're all like these beauty related videos, I've been finding myself like really not clicking on it, which is odd for me because usually, even when I wasn't uploading on YouTube, when I was first pregnant with Levi, and I think I took like a two month break, I still consumed a lot of beauty content. Okay, I'm gonna go on the R105 brush. It's more of a packer brush. I'm gonna go into Thunder right there and pack it on. I still can't get over how, maybe it's just me, but I feel like this is the shade I put in my crease. I feel like they're two different colors. Anyway, but yeah, I've just been having a really hard time. Let me pick up a little more, I knocked it off too much. I've been having a really hard time really getting excited. And I also think part of it is to just I feel a little burnt out with all the drama too. I don't know if that could be related to it because I feel like anytime, I don't know, I feel like 2020 and then 2021, the beginning half of it is just, 
it's always just like scandal after scandal and I feel like the last couple months it's like almost taking the fun out of makeup for me a little bit and then you know as I've been getting into more guard ah, I just threw my brush across the room as I've been getting into gardening and wanting to learn about that and then also you know sourdough and more home cooking and um and that sort of thing I've been finding a lot more channels about gardening and sourdough and baking and stuff like that and it's just been a welcome like just a welcome welcome breath of fresh air to enjoy content without drama you know tied to it and like you know when I say drama like I haven't even been I used to always like watch um what's her name tea spill and stuff like that and I always used to stay abreast of whatever drama was going around but honestly like recently I just I haven't been clicking or wanting to watch it at all or wanting to even know what what was what's going on when I see a new thumbnail come up for a tea spill or whatever I find the drama a lot more draining and it's not even you know to say that people who I usually watch were always about the drama because even like beauty related videos like a, a video on a palette a review video a, a collection of videos I feel like especially like I said when I took my break I didn't watch any beauty videos really at all but then even before that I Feel like I was just not really inspired I find myself clicking on like gardening and how to get rid of aphids from your tomatoes and be getting excited to listen to that or true crime I feel like I'm always down to to listen to true crime I'm gonna take a little r104 a little bit of this I'm gonna take the r104 brush and use that on the outer edges but uh, I've been really into consuming that type of content to the you know neglect of beauty content really and just you know when I would see a new video from a friend of mine come up I just don't really find myself wanting to click it and which is just weird for me because I've enjoyed beauty content for so many years and anytime I think about it I'm like am I done like am I phasing out of beauty content but I don't think so or like am I phasing out of enjoying makeup but I don't think so because I still really enjoy I really enjoy putting on makeup. I still really enjoy makeup. I still really enjoy making makeup content. I don't know. It's just a, a bit of a rut on what I consume right now. I'm going to take a little bit of this MBA glitter foil and liner FX and use that as my glitter glue. Like I said, this is very much a just kind of talking through it. I'm not leaving the beauty space. I'm not stop making videos. I'm just going to kind of feel it out and see where this goes, but it's definitely just something I've been feeling and dealing with for I guess about a month now it's kind of been coming on and um, I'm gonna go in I guess I can use this this is a ColourPop E3 brush a flat one I just like this type of flat brush for my shimmer and I really want to use this shade here but this is also really pretty there's a lot of pretty colors should I surprise you all and put purple on my lid I feel like you guys would not expect that let's go with that we're gonna do succulent right there uh, I'm gonna give this a minute to cool down because I don't want to have patchy issues or cool down <laughs> not cool down <laughs> I've been cooking a lot give this a minute to dry down anyway but it's something I've been struggling with and that's kind of why I wanted to talk about it today because I feel like I've just been neglecting watching any type of beauty content and that has kind of because of that like I feel like I'm missing so many of my friends videos that are coming and you know, that I'm seeing in my newsfeed and you know I'll watch some of them but I just feel like that whole excitement over it I'm kind of in a plateau right now and like I said it's really weird because I've been in this space for so long I've always been excited and find enjoyment in watching beauty related content especially my friends and anything to do with eyeshadow palettes and just doing a makeup look I get it. I find so much enjoyment in watching it and seeing what people create but lately I just haven't even wanted to click on the video let alone watch to see what kind of look they create like that's how much of like a plateau I feel like I'm in this is really pretty I think I'm going to put a little bit of I'm kind of tempted to put blue Blue. Would that be a little too much for this outer corner? Because, um, I don't know, I just feel like a pop of something else. I'm going to take it just on my finger, I think, and take that blue, which is downpour, and tap it in and just blend the two together. Um, ooh, that is pigmented, and it has a little bit of a purpley shift. Is this a duochrome? I see a little bit of purple when I do this in the, the mirror. Anyway, um, so I feel like I'm getting some of it back as my kids are getting better and I'm getting back into the groove of things But I just feel like the content I'm consuming now on YouTube still is not quite there um, It's not quite back fully and I don't know I feel like that's very weird for me and like I said I feel bad because I'm not watching my friends content like I usually have always done in the past couple of years 
but uh, it's just this weird funk that I'm going through and I don't know, like I don't even know what the point of this video is to say except that like I feel like I'm definitely going through some type of funk and maybe it's just a time thing, like I said, I've been watching a lot more about um, learning about sourdough and traditional cooking and then also about gardening and stuff because I feel like I have so much to learn when it comes to gardening, oh my goodness so 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 much so i think maybe maybe it's just a time thing because i'm watching so much of that it's like i just can't keep up both right now so that's why makeup content is taking a bit of a back burner seat right now in what i consume when i'm on youtube okay so i think i'm pretty much done with the eyes i like how it looked i'm just taking a little bit of what's on the outer corner thunder and putting that over the blue i really like that choice of doing the blue i feel like this is a look very unlike me. I feel like it's not something I typically do. I'm going to take a touch more of that Joshua Tree again, trying to keep this very light and use this big old brush. I think I said the R104 brush just to diffuse and get a really soft outer corner. I feel like I was a little more harsh on this side. So anyway, I thought about filming this video so many times. I was gonna initially do it before I had to take my break and then I had to take my break and didn't get a chance to film this, but I've just been kind of going back and forth. And like I said, I don't think I'm leaving YouTube. I don't think I'm gonna stop being and reviewing makeup and whatnot and palettes because they still do excite me. So it's still there. I don't know, I, like I said, maybe it's just a time thing as I'm talking this through. Maybe it is just the fact that I, I just don't have time to watch all the beauty content that I used to and keep up with learning something that's very new and different for me like gardening and uh, you know learning more about cooking and stuff like that and not I wouldn't say I'm a newbie to cooking but cooking with sourdough is definitely a whole new experience a whole different whole different ball game for me um let's see how am I doing on time not too bad I think I'm gonna keep my face pretty basic so let me see if I can zip through it I feel like I always say that and then my video ends up being like 30 40 minutes so let me clean my face and prep it and then we can do foundation together okay i'm going to use this wet wild tinted hydrator i got the shade light just got it last week or so i've worn it once i think it's a little bit um it looks like a good color but it's a little dries a little bit more pinkier than i prefer let's go there we go i just noticed it looked a little bit pinky when i blended it down my neck when it settled because like right off the bat, it actually, oh, I have got some hair on my face. Um, right off the bat, it looked pretty, pretty good color wise. Oh, speaking of hair, I should say I've gotten some people asking about um, like kind of an update on my hair journey. If you're new around here, I'll link the video up here. Um, I got another hair on me. I think this might be a brush hair. Anyway, um, where I kind of talk about I've had straight hair my whole life, but I've recently found out that my hair actually is kind of wavy so I've been trying to do uh, take care of my hair basically and just kind of accentuate the curls or the waves and I'm actually having some kind of I don't know if that was a good representation but I got waves whether they're nice waves or kind of rough um, I actually am having a lot more success I feel like every time I do my hair I have a little bit more success in getting the wave to come out um, it's just kind of been play uh, like a process of playing around with different products and different um, like routines and combinations to see what works best and then kind of like longevity what works best to refresh that sort of thing so I'm still going through the process of still learning I think I, I forget how many months this has been going on three months um, which feels like it should be quite long enough for me to be able to know by now but um, even though I'm trying to take better care of myself I still have a hard time washing my hair more than once a week just because life is busy um so it's a slow process if you only wash your hair once a week and only have time to refresh maybe once or twice in there a lot of days i just live with my hair braided or just tied back because that's just the kind of person i am and even though i'm trying to get better at styling my hair because i feel like that just helps the curl or the waves just have a better life when i style it if i don't constantly just slick it back and tie it um still some days are just braided or in you know tied back at the back of my neck kind of thing um so anyway all that to say it's been a slow process and i will definitely do an updated video once i feel like i have a handle on the type of products i like and the type of products that work well for me um yeah this looks a little darker than i thought maybe once i um or darker than i remember maybe once i put the powder on it won't be so bad i'm taking this kevin aquan concealer 
I've been using this so much, but I still can't tell you what I think about it. I think it's because I think it's great. Like, I think it's a good concealer, but the hard part for me is like, I don't think it's any better than all my drugstore concealers. So that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know my thoughts on it. So I just keep using it. Um, it doesn't crease, so that's good. Anyway, all I just say, I will definitely do an updated video at some point in the future. Once I feel like I have more success with, you know, styling my hair today, I feel like it's not too bad, but it's more of like a visually it looks good because feeling it and in person I used a mousse when I washed my hair on wash day instead of a gel like I have been doing and I did not like the results it did, I feel like it looks very oily and today I did a refresh added a bunch of water added some dry um, dry shampoo and stuff to try to get rid of that oily look but I don't know I still feel like it looks a little rough there's waves in there but it's just not I don't know not the kind of style that I'm super happy with. So I'll have to say it's still a process. I'm still learning, but once I do figure things out a little bit more, I'll definitely plan to do a little updated video and give you guys kind of like what I'm using right now, what's working for me type of video. I'm just gonna take this flower beauty stuff. So that'll be coming at some point. I have no idea when. Anyway, let me go over and put a little bronzer on real quick and then a highlighter as well. Maybe I'll use something in the in the what's what's up beauty palette, the monsoon palette. Anyway, so yeah, I feel like I kind of just talked a little bit about this rut that I'm in and then I dropped it. So going back to just feeling a little bit in a rut when it comes to YouTube, I really don't know how long this is going to last or like what what's causing it, but I'm just kind of letting it letting it ride right now and just seeing seeing what happens and I'll of course keep you guys abreast if things change, but I guess this video is mostly to just kind of do like a public apology to any of my YouTube friends. I feel like I have been so neglectful in recent recent weeks, recent months with just being able to watch their videos or if I do watch it, I feel like I'm so bad at leaving comments and stuff like that where I used to feel like I was pretty good at always leaving a comment whenever I watched a video and I've just been dropping the ball so much on that. I mean, dropping the ball on my own comment section. Like I said, I think I said in a recent video, or maybe I meant to, but uh, I am like two months behind on YouTube comments. Two months behind on YouTube comments when I took my break. And part of me was like, oh, maybe on the break I can get all caught up on those. But then if you missed that video, my family was sick the entire two weeks that I took off of YouTube. So I I did not no comments. I think I maybe answered like 10 total throughout the whole two weeks. So I'm still, very behind on YouTube comments and honestly that is I feel like it feels like it's attributing a little bit to the whole feeling a little burnt out on YouTube because anytime previous to this anytime I would go on to answer comments I'm someone who likes to do an order so I would just never want to start because I knew I would have to scroll so far back to try to find the comment that I left off at and try to catch up and then by the time I finally found the spot got the comment that I was gonna, you know, start replying to, um, like I would have to stop because literally it would take me so long. Two months of comments, is, <laughs> there's a lot of comments to scroll back on. So I feel like that's been attributing a little bit to kind of like the stress. I feel like that stress is a strong word to use for this, but a little bit of the stress with YouTube is that I just feel like I'm so behind on comments. And this past week when I started back on YouTube, I told myself like, you just gonna start from here and keep going. So I've been starting with the you know, the video that I posted on Monday when I came back from my break, I'm starting just replying to those comments and moving on. And then I have on my computer open where two months behind the comment I left off on. And whenever I have free time, even if it's just like five, 10 minutes in a week, I will just work on those that I'm backlogged because I would like to respond to all the comments. It's just something that I feel like right now, I've tried to be the, you know, the YouTuber who doesn't read all comments or reads all comments, but doesn't respond to it. And I just, I'm not good at that right now. I just want to respond to all the comments. So I'm just going to work on the backlog that I have and it might take me a whole year to get and finally catch up to all of the comments, but eventually I would like to finish responding to all of them. So if in the coming months you get a random reply back to a comment you made five months ago, that's me trying to catch up on comments. Okay, I think for my lower lash line, I'm going to take, let's do this pencil brush, I guess. No, let's do this little brush right here, R106. It's a little long, but I think I can use the tip and I wanna use this Temptus this shade, since the other colors were so much deeper than I anticipate, I wanna see what this red does. And if it's not deep enough, then I can use a darker color, but I wanna pop a pink, which is probably not the best thing 
for your lower lash line because it probably just makes you look sick but here I am thinking about that after the fact anyway so yeah um, that's kind of just what I have decided is just to keep on pushing on and keeping up abreast with the current comments if I have time I have it open on my computer so I don't have to scroll to eternity to find it and I can catch up anyway okay so that I think this is it let's do something for my inner corner I want to use Sun it probably isn't the best shade to use because it just doesn't really go with this look but it, I want to use it because it looks so beautiful and I didn't use it all over my lids so that's why I'm using it on my inner corner I'm gonna use this little R101 it's a pencil brush I don't know if it's the best for my inner corner but we're gonna try it if not I'll grab a different brush but uh, not too bad it's a little bit more flimsy so I'm making a bit more of a mess than a tiny little packer brush but it works Okay, I think we're about done. I am just concealing some mascara that I got one on my nose when I was doing my lower lashes. So we're just going to ignore that little dark spot there. Um, oh yeah, I was going to use this shade right here. The shimmer is called Glow. I'm going to use it on a little tiny brush and see how it works as a highlighter, like a face highlighter. Ooh, I think that works nice. I'm making a mess of the pan, but ooh, it has a pretty shine. Pretty sheen. I think you guys can see that. So anyway, I think that's about the video. I feel like I just did a lot of word vomit and didn't really make a lot of sense as I said in the beginning this is more of just like a video to help me kind of talk through and vocalize my thoughts because these are a lot of thoughts I've just been kind of thinking of in my head and haven't really had a chance to talk with anyone about it so <laughs> I'm talking with you guys about it we're gonna use this light peach it's more of a nude than a peach but anyway I need something more cool toned actually let's use this one Moscato from DD Signature. The other one was from Odin's Eye. I don't think I said. I'm just going to top this because it's very cool toned. We're going to call that good. That's what I'm wearing today. So anyway, here is the look. I did get a little bit of fallout, mostly with the inner corner shade. I didn't really notice it with the purple or the, the blue at all. But yeah, here is the look. I'll go ahead and stick up close up so you guys can see. Per usual, see up close, see how the eye look turned out. I think the shimmers are absolutely beautiful. The mattes are also really nice. They're just a lot more intense and pigmented than I had anticipated. And because of that, they come off a little bit more different than they appear in the pan but yeah that is gonna do it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it like I, like I said I don't really know how to finish off this video because I don't know I've just been in a very big funk and part of me feels like it was coming across on camera and with my YouTube video and like my upload schedule being so spotty and me taking breaks and all that so I was like you know what, let's just talk about it and that way you guys know where I am and hopefully I get out of this rut soon I don't know I I, I don't really know if there's anything I could do to get out of this rut or just kind of you know live in the moment maybe it's just this phase of life there's a lot going on in my personal life as well that's kind of attributing to this kind of funk that I'm in but it is what I'm in, so I figured we could talk about it in today's video and just kind of be upfront and, you know, transparent with you guys when it comes to makeup and beauty content that I consume and I talk about on my channel. So, yeah, with all that said, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.